Hey, what's happening to you guys? Extreme Parasonic here, and welcome back to another video. So, before I get started, I just want to say that I just woke up, so I, that's why I'm not sounding as, you know, energetic, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. But I really want to make this video, um, because that's the only time I have to do this, and... I know a lot of you guys in the past videos of mine have been asking me how exactly do the attacks work, like how do we get to decide how we fight in Absolve and how does the comeback um, deck actually work. So um, I was thinking about that myself, I was like, hmm, how do I actually explain this to, this, to you, know, you guys who are interested in knowing about this because they have explained it but I feel like most of us are more visually based, we would like to see things you know, demonstrated to us so we can have a fully um, understanding of what they that what exactly they're trying to tell us. So um, I was going around on Reddit and I actually found someone by the name of Timmy Payne who actually screenshotted every single moves list from the PSX live cast that happened a couple of weeks ago. And um, I thought it was pretty interesting because you know it actually gives us a good idea of how each attack or each movement affects a character's you know damage, speed, range and all that stuff so I thought maybe I'll just show it to you guys and see what it's all about so basically I'm going to be analyzing everything from these images and just talk about what we think about them well what I think about them and you guys can share me your thoughts in the comment sections um, below so um, basically let's get started so in the first image we see we only have to actually analyze one or two images because they're all kind of similar but they do give us some pretty decent and interesting information so basically um, on the top right you know it says attack selection so we know that this is where you're going to be choosing the attack that's going to come in sequence after your first initial attack so let's say you do a first punch you can decide to do a 360 tornado kick or you can decide to do a hapsaw paymaker or a back trip kick like it, it really depends on how you want to fight so so that's like one of the things that you're going to have to think about when you're creating your own fighting style in absolver and um now you know when i first saw this i was thinking to myself you know there has to be some consequence to choosing specific types of fighting style you know in sequence because i could easily just create a bunch of really fast hard hitting attacks that can pretty much help me win any match I want. So on the right side we see that each attack that you choose has a negative or positive effect to your character. So you know if you choose like say for example a 360 kick for example you know the damage is obviously there like you can see by the green you see that you know the damage has increased uh, but the speed has gone down and the range has increased as well. So depending on what you choose it will affect how your character performs so there's a lot of I guess strategy and planning that has to go into creating your own fine style which is pretty damn awesome and it makes it so that no one two character are the same unless you just happen to run into your evil twin while you're playing but besides that like it will be very difficult for you to find someone who has the exact same fine style as you so that's what that's what makes this game a little bit more interesting because you know for a fact that this guy has created something that you've probably never encountered before so you have to literally prepare for yourself for an, either an onslaught or an easy victory depending on who you are. Now if you go a step further we can see that depending on how you create your character you will get specific bonuses and these bonuses will be graded depending on how well you've customized your character and I'm not too sure if this um, if these bonuses are affected by just the attack sequences or as well of when you equip certain items on your body like maybe if you equipped a specific mask or something like that I don't know like that's just that's up for debate at this point but we can see that in some images um, let's say for example the strength gets a C rank and we see in other images that you know agility gets a D and WR I'm not too sure what WR is at this point you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you what your interpretation of that is but we see you know that one has a B rank in it so you know, there's a lot of variety that goes into creating your own character and we also see there's not a large section for special property um, I don't think there's an image that shows any oh we see one image actually um, special property and it shows avoid down arrow avoid horizontal high kick so you know it there's a really high mind game <laughs> when it comes to creating combat um, decks and all that stuff and um, yeah that's pretty much it like, uh, sorry I, I literally just woke up but that's pretty much it guys hopefully this has helped you 
understand a little bit more about combat decks now i'm pretty sure as the days come closer to whenever the beta comes out for Absolver, we'll get more information about the combat deck maybe this maybe this information as of right now could really be rewritten by the time we actually get to play the demo but or the beta actually but um, hopefully this has helped you out because i have been getting some comments here and there of people kind of wondering how exactly do combat decks work like do we just create a bunch of sequences and then test it out to see if it flows nicely i feel like um that is also a factor as well like you can't just probably string a bunch of things together i mean you, you can technically but you want it to be as efficient as possible like you don't want let's say your 360 backswing to interfere with your hook attack or something like that like you know just i'm just throwing things out there like um yeah so um Hopefully this video has helped you understand a little bit of the combat deck. Like, this has this has actually helped me out a little bit. So we gotta give a shout out to um, Timmy Payne for taking the time out of his day to actually screenshot all of this. I mean, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm Stream by Sonic. Thanks so much for watching. If this video has been informative, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future app solver and other games updates and news and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys next time peace